Hello everyone. Welcome to Agile Rank Mate, your partner in education. Today we'll be looking at Allen's Talent Encouragement Exam or Talentex and we'll be looking at sample questions for grade 8. And we'll be looking at uh, the physics, chemistry and biology. Let's begin then, shall we? So, this question is on physics. During a race from point A to C as shown in the figure, Ram followed the path A to B then B to C. But Shyam followed the direct path A to C. If time taken by Ram is 14 seconds and by Shyam is 10 seconds, then average velocity of Ram and Shyam are equal. Average velocity of Ram is more than that of Shyam. Average velocity of Ram is less than that of Shyam. D. None of the above. So, if you look at the uh, this question, its options are asking us uh, to compare the average velocity of Ram and Shyam. So, if we had to compare it, we had to first calculate it. So, let's first calculate what is the formula of velocity. So, velocity, which is basically speed, is distance divided by time. So, if we are to apply this in Ram's case, now, in the question it's given, Ram followed the path A to B, then B to C. So, A to B is 40 meter and B to C is 30 meter. So, total distance is 70 meter and time uh, given is 14 seconds. 14 seconds. If we are to uh, simplify it, we'll get 5 as a 5 meter per second as the average velocity of Ram. So next we have to find the average velocity of Shyam. Now Shyam time equals 10 seconds. So if we have to find the average velocity of Shyam we have to, f uh, it's, it's said in the question that Shyam followed the direct path A to C. So, we have to find uh, this distance. Now, if we look at this uh, path, we can see it forms a right angle triangle. And we all, uh, and uh, A, B and B, C are the sides while A, C are, is the hypotenuse. So if we use the Pythagoras theorem, we, we can find A, C. So A, uh, using Pythagoras theorem, A, B square, so 40 square plus 30 square would be equal to A, C square. Reason? Pythagoras theorem. So, if we solve this, we get 1,600 1, plus 900 is equal to AC square. So, we get 2500 is equal to AC square. Now, if we have, if we root both the sides, we get AC is equal to square root of 2500. Now, instead of finding the square root of both of these, we can find the square root of 25 into square root of 100, which is basically 5 into 10, which is equal to 50. So, uh, 50 meter. So, Shyam, uh, Shyam, uh, traveled 50 meter. Now, if we have to find the velocity, velocity of Shyam is 50 meter divided by 10 seconds. Now, uh, if we simplify it, we get 5 meter per second. So, we get a, a 
uh, velocity of Ram as 5 meter per second and also the velocity of Shyam as 5 meter per second. Now if you look at the options it can't uh, it can't be B because it's just uh, Ram uh, average velocity of Ram is more than that of Shyam. It can't be C which says Ra uh, velocity of Ram is less than that of Shyam so, and so the correct option is option A. Average velocity of Ram and Shyam are equal because if when we calculate the velocity we got the uh, average velocity of Ram as 5 meter per seconds while we also got the average velocity of Shyam as 5 meter sec per second. So option A average velocity of Ram and Shyam are equal. Next question on chemistry. Which of the following can be used for the classification of the above changes? A. Expand, expansion and contraction B. Cooling and heating C. Reversible and irreversible D. Desirable and undesirable changes So, if we uh, look at these changes First, let's look at the options So, expansion and contraction Expansion is basically uh, when uh, an object stretches its width while contraction is when the object's width becomes smaller and cooling and heating cooling is the decrease of temperature heating is the increase of temperature reversible and irreversible so reversible means uh, it can be brought back to their original form after doing the processes while irreversible means uh, it cannot be brought back to the original format and while desirable and undesirable changes means desirable means uh, it is suitable for the environment and people while undesirable is not desirable so basically not suitable for the environment and people so if we look at option a it said ex expansion and contraction now if we see the first one it's a stretching of rubber band this fits option a option uh, option a which is expansion while well, uh, option two also f uh, fits this because uh, the molecules of the milk uh, expands as a whole cold milk changes to hot milk and third one also fits it because stretching of spring is basically expanding it but if we look at the other side cooking of food is not an example of contraction uh, neither of the three is an example of contraction so we cannot say option a is correct so option a is incorrect option b cooling and heating so if we check for cooling Stretching of rubber band is, uh, if we look at this side, cooking of food is heating. Floor to dough is not an example of heating, but burning of paper is. While in this side, none of these is an example of cooling. So, uh, option B is also incorrect. Now, if we look at option D, desirable and undesirable changes. Now, if we look at the last part, we can see the third one burning of paper is an undesirable change but the other two are desirable change so that means we cannot uh, categorize them under undesirable changes while in the uh, other side all of them are desirable but over here on, on the right side we also have uh, desirable changes so option D is also incorrect the correct option is option C reversible in, in reverse irreversible now stretching of rubber band the rubber band can be brought back to their own shape cold milk to hot milk we can uh, the hot milk can cool down to get back to the cold milk stretching of spring uh, we can uh, the spring can get back to its original shape while irreversible cooking of food we can't get the ingredients back after cooking food floor to door uh, we can't get back the floor after uh, changing to door while burning of paper we can't get the paper back from the ashes so that means option C reversible and irreversible is the correct answer for this question
Next, biology. Study the following statements concerning food chains and select the correct ones. S so we have a couple of statements uh, and we have to find uh, a pair of them which is correct. Now, if we look at option A, it says removal of 80% tigers from an area resulted in greatly increased growth of vegetation. So, this is incorrect. So, basically, if we look at a, a basic food chain, the grass is eaten by a herbivore. Or basically first consumer which is eaten by second consumer and goes on now the tiger can fit somewhere in the second uh, consumer or third consumer part so if we remove let's say the tiger is in the second consumer now if we remove this means 80% of this so that means the number of first consumer will increase so if the number of first cons consumer will increase the first consumer will uh, eat more and more of the grass or plant and uh, uh, the grass or plant will decrease so it will not be in a, it will increase growth of vegetation but rather it will be decreased greatly decreased growth of vegetation so option a is no sorry not option a statement a is incorrect now if we look at statement b now uh it, by, by this we uh, we can cancel option a and option c because both of them says a is correct which is wrong now if we look at statement b we said we said it says removal of most of the carnivores resulted in an increased population of deers now uh, uh let's uh, replace this first consumer with a deer because the deer eats the plant and so the carnivores can uh, be placed in the second consumer or third consumer so if we remove most of the carnivores then as we already said uh the number of uh, secondary consumer oh, would be uh, less so there'd be less uh, animals to eat the first consumer which is basically deer so there'll be less carnivores to eat, eat the deer so the number of deer will increase which is basically what statement B is saying so statement B is correct now by this we can say that option B, B and C is correct, but let's to, uh, check our statements. So, uh, statement C says the length of food chain is generally limited to three to four trophic levels due to energy loss at each trophic level. Now, this is correct because from grass uh, to the next, about uh, only 10% of the energy is uh, being acquired by the next consumer uh, and only 10% is acquired by the next consumer and so on. So that's why it is generally limited to uh, 3 to 4 trophic levels since the energy will be gradually decreasing. So option c as i mean statement c is correct now statement d says in transfer of energy at each trophic level 50 percent of energy is lost as heat now this is wrong because uh since only 10 percent of energy is uh being acquired by the next consumer the rest energy which is 90 percent of the energy is lost as heat and not of uh, fifty uh, percent. So statement D and statement A is incorrect. So uh, statement B and statement C is correct, which is option B. That's all, folks. We hope you found it interesting. For more useful videos, please subscribe to our channel, Agile Rank Mate. Until the next episode.
Take care, stay safe. Ta-ta for now.